Oh, we're recording now. <clears throat> so I'm standing barefoot in the parking lot outside the front door of my shop. There's the front window. Let's go look in there. Hmm. Looks interesting. <clears throat> so this is what it looks like just inside the front door. I'm sorry I'm shaky. Oh, there's my banner up there. So let's look back this way. I love that chair. I'm going to build a base for it and then put casters on it. So we can wheel it around in here. Now the structure over here on this side of the room was... Um, what I used for making my booth at the home show last year. And rather than just pack it away, I thought it would be good to put it up here in the front of the shop uh, just to give a little bit of structure up here and a place to hang windows and whatnot. I call it the corral. And there's my pot to piss in, the commode. There's some beautiful glass. There's some windows. Some more windows. And a lamp. One of Diane's mirrors. A mosaic mirror. And here we get to the front. These are actually shutters. Stained glass shutters. Shutters are awesome because then you can have privacy when you want and you can have full sunlight when you want. I'm going to step over this way so you can see looking out from inside the corral. Now some of the windows you see here are student projects. Oh, and then up above me, it doesn't show very well, but here, let me see what I can do. There's snowflakes hanging from the ceiling, fused glass snowflakes. So they're all around, and they sparkle nicely in the twinkly lights. So this is just the front end of the shop. Now we're going to go back here. There's my door, which you've seen. And here's my light table. Wow, that, that just kind of washes out on video. Oh, let's look up above here real quick. There's some pictures on the wall of some of the work that I've done in Beth's house. Oh, and look, there's the Rubens plate. Now we'll turn and we'll look at my light table again. Oh, that's a display. That stand has a bunch of Christmas ornaments on it. Christmas ornaments that Diane and some of my customers made and they're available for sale. Okay, now let's look back at the light table again. There. So the light table serves a function. Uh, that's where I draw patterns and copy patterns, you know, being able to trace from one copy to another. And I also lay out glass here so that I can see how different glasses look with each other. But for the open house, we decided to put painting samples in here. 
And I don't think this is going to show up well, but it looks better in person. It looks like on video we see a lot of bands of light, light and dark. I think that's called an interference pattern due to the fact that electricity is at 60 hertz. Anyway, um, there's some of Mary's work in here, and there's some uh, old stuff in here. Here, I'm going to focus in on, this is a bee that Mary painted. And glass painting is a highly specialized skill. Now this bee is about four, five inches across. And just the detail that she gets. And these are a couple of sparrows that she painted. Sparrows on the log. Yeah, this isn't coming across very well in video. And there's a couple of flowers. That's a Gaylardia. And that's a Iris. Let's see. Oh, and here's some Magnolia. So she's painting exclusively for me. And here's a nice display. That's the Clithero Lake table with my photo retoucher's desk. That's a, a grape, grapes and grape leaf painting that Mary did. Look at how beautiful that is. One of my old cameras, a couple of bowls I made, and a gorgeous little lamp uh, from Mary's studio. Then underneath here, this is an old, old device. This is a Burroughs, Burroughs receipt printer. Basically a glorified adding machine. And what's really cool about it is it has beveled glass sides so you can see inside to look at the mechanisms. One of these days I might restore it. And now we can go into the workshop. Here we go. This is where the money gets made. This first table here is primarily used by students uh, to do their projects. This is the Sherry Peterson corner. See some plants. Those are the carts that Jenny had at the rest areas. They're wonderful here for food and coffee carts. Normally when we're working in here, it's brighter. I have the lights down to, what is it? I have three of 12 lit up right now. So it can be a lot, lot brighter in here. And then here's my tool wall. We're gonna take a quick peek around the corner here and look at the bathroom. Diane did a nice job painting the bathroom. It's a nice colonial or steel blue. The noise is the furnace running. I think that toilet's clean. I haven't had any complaints. Oh, Mom, you'd like this. A pair of soap. That's all original. Oh, no, it's a wooden box cover, I think. And this is kind of weird. Diane's boyfriend, Paul, has a thing about making noses, so that's a ceramic nose. And I thought it was completely appropriate to hang it directly above the toilet. Refrigerator, microwave. Some of my glass. Oh, we had such wonderful food today. Diane made a poblano potato soup. We were supposed to add sour cream and cilantro to That was delicious. I made a zesty black bean chili with um, bratwurst. Green onion bratwurst black bean chili. And this is a uh, butternut squash soup with uh, Indian spices. This table that the food is on is normally my main work table. 
but it was simple enough to just cover it with paper and makes for a nice presentation table for food. So here we're on the other side. See, there we are. <clears throat> Let's look back up towards the front of the shop. There's the front of the shop. There's my glass rack. Then here's one of my light tables, one of my smaller light tables with an old window displayed in it. It works nicely to display because it's double layer. So that window is actually inside the table and then there's um, clear plate glass on top. So it still functions as a work table. We can still trace patterns on this, but it displays the window so nicely. And these are some kind of fun things. That's a, um, a cast glass medallion. And then these, it's hard to get a sense of this on video, but they're like little mountains or little teeth. They're some of the most amazing glass things I've seen. There, I'm trying to give you a sense of the depth there. There's some kiln supplies, more glass. Oh, and down there, you see that, that cardboard box and the, the moss and the t-shirts? That's uh, Petey's new playpen. Petey is Diane's pet tortoise. He's a Russian tortoise. Right now, he's about the size of that. Um, but he could get up to 30 pounds. Oh, here, we'll go back here. This is my office chair. This is my kiln. Oh, what's that? Three crats, crazy. My little desk. Another window. I really like that window. I like the window in the door too. It doesn't just show up right now. But this place is somehow more charming at night. I just think it's very cozy and comfortable. So here's another light table with um, glass samples in it. Yeah, that doesn't look anywhere near as good on video as it does in person. So there's glass samples, again, inside the table. And then this stuff is just sitting on top. That's a glass kitty cat from Jenny. And this is the wine table. Well, we had a well, we had that bucket up here with beer and ice in it. And uh, oh, I was showing somebody how to cut glass. Uh, so there's wines up here, some boxed wines. That is my blueberry wine that was very popular between yesterday and today. That was full. That was two gallons worth. The guys upstairs hit it hard last night. And I think they're feeling it because that's like 17% alcohol. Um, this is a wine that I made primarily for cooking. It gets a little overwhelming if you try and drink it. But it's a, uh, it's a uh, jalapeno pepper and basil wine. And it really is wonderful for cooking. Um, so these over here, these are not trucker's piss bottles. These are water bottles that I filled with that wine because two of Diane's sons are chefs and they want to use those for their cooking. Oh, and then I can tell you about, um, here, let me move that. Uh, Chef Jamie, uh, a local, a local talent, I guess, local celebrity, um, not sure how to describe him, but, uh, he was here today, and he had a video camera following him. I'll tell you more about that later. Anyway, three cats. Open house. Yeah, Diane didn't get the times right. We were here till midnight last night, and it's what, 7 o'clock now? Anyway. So now, this, this is where I used to have a wall and a door, but October 1st, Diane moved into the back shop, and we tore down the wall. Um, when Mike was here earlier this week, uh, he helped me finish tearing down the wall. 
that's my fish window. These panels are really cool. They look like they're glass, but they're actually just plastic things that Diane found at some flea market or thrift store. Diane has a really funky eye for things. Uh, she just has a really good eye. I mean, look at that table. You probably can't get a sense of it, but the top is shaped like a guitar pick, so it's triangular and it has three legs. And look at how robust that is. And that gorgeous little shelf underneath. I just love that thing. And she got it for like $60, $70 at a thrift store. And that's a giant drop leaf table. And everything works. She got this thing for $35 at the St. Vincent de Paul thrift store. And it's um, taller than normal. It's like a kitchen countertop height rather than a normal dining table height. I love that thing. I hate her. No, I love her dearly. Oh, and the mess here is because she had a little bit of a kids event today during the open house and kids got to uh, paint some ornaments and uh, make funky things. Uh, yeah, they painted those Christmas balls and those are some spangly things. I don't know what the hell you call those, but they decorated with those. Kids had a fun time. There's my popcorn maker. There's Diane's little kiln. That's Diane's door. More plants. I like this sign. Um, and then this is the back of Diane's shop. I'm going to show you some of her funky things. Her boyfriend, Paul, found a couple of things, and he doesn't know what he's going to do with it or Diane's going to do with it. But that glass thing, it looks like a cone head. Hmm, just going to be interesting. Uh, this is something that her boyfriend, Paul, made. It's an old tractor seat on an old spring and then the casters. It's, it's just wonderful to tool around the shop in that. Uh, and then this, this is a kerosene stove, all original, all original. It's a kerosene stove. See up here? That's the fuel tank. And then it flows down into the pipes. And it's just a bare minimalist thing. It kind of looks like a sewing machine in some respects. Uh. And these are, okay, I'm going to zoom in a little closer here on some creepy things that Paul made that I love. Look at that. Isn't that weird? So it's some fat, naked guy puking or something. And then this guy, look at that. It's a guy with a champagne glass coming out of his mouth, and it's a candle. little things. Diane's going to mosaic the rocking horse. These are some lights and things that Diane and her boyfriend have made. So Diane mosaic that with glass. She made this. I thought Jenny would like that. It says life is a journey. Embrace it. This hat rack or coat rack is um, some part of an old upright piano, and Diane did all the painting on it. Oh, this I've rather I rather like this thing too. I don't know if you can read it very well, but it says "art as a metaphor for life." And there's that mirror thing she made. That thing. What's that say? It says, and they danced by the light of the moon as wood burned into that stick. And then she has beady shit hanging down from it. Oh, there's some of Paul's noses with sunglasses. Just disembodied noses with sunglasses. And another one of his creepy guy candle things. He looks like he's ready to receive something, if you know what I mean. Oh, and these are refrigerator magnets that Diane makes. I, uh, that's not showing up at all. Interesting things. And this is her boyfriend Paul's aardvark. It's a paper mache aardvark with a martini glass. And that's, oh, yeah, I got to show you Diane's posts. These are mosaic posts. This one is called the Taj Mahal. 
and these go for three hundred to five hundred dollars or more. And they're all intricately mosaic. You look at that one's three hundred and twenty three hundred and twenty five dollars. And there's a couple of raw posts that she has yet to attack. So what are you? And then, oh, and then Paul carved this frog out of a stump. So it was a wonderful day. It was a wonderful time. I love my shop. I wish you could have been here, but I understand. Uh, I feel very, very fortunate that I get to come here every day. And people tell me that it's amazing that I was able to do this. See, they, they'll tell me, Spence, look at everything, look at all that you've done in such a short period of time. There's no way I could have done this without the help of a lot of family and friends. So thank you very much. Now it's time to close this down, upload it to YouTube, and let you have a look at it. Good night.